What's up, Dirty Cons? All right, so uh, my sons and I listen to a lot of um, podcasts. podcasts, and we were listening to Joey Diaz with Greg Proops, just came out the other day, uh, really That's good just... one that you guys should all check out, but they're talking about music, and, and you know, they're talking about, oh, you know, the Beatles for doing all these drugs, and my kids are looking at me like, what are you talking about? You know, and I and I just said to them, you know, well, the Beatles, you know, the first two albums were very clean cut. They were easy going, you know, good good old Liverpool boys. And then by you know third fourth album, they're hardcore, you know, doing drugs. And my kids are like, going, what is he talking? I'm like, you know, and and I think this is a good drugs make good music, but they make horrible lives. You know, look at all these people that you know. Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, um, all these kind of guys, they made beautiful music, but at the expense of, you know, their life. So, I mean, yeah, drugs are good, <laughs> you know, drugs are bad, okay, you know, but they're bad, but the, they're good, but they're bad. So don't do them, is what I'm saying, because, but this is what I'm trying to tell the kids, because the kids are like, well, what does this mean? And, and I think that, that it explains it, you know, it's so good, you can't do it. That's where drugs are. Yes. So only if I become the greatest magician I can do No, drugs. you're not going <laughs> to <laughs> Well, then we are in luck because I know that you will not be the world's greatest musician, even though I love you to death. Uh, maybe it's, it's not that you're not good. You're just not a singer. It's all right. I'm not a singer either. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I know. That's the greatest singer. Oh, you guys are too nice. All right. So anyway, so don't do drugs. And uh, anything else you want to talk about? It's Thanksgiving. What are we thankful for? Being a family. Michael. I don't know. You're you not thankful for anything? I didn't say I was thankful for anything. For anything. I just said I don't know. What What do you don't know? I just don't know. Well, tell me something. Although he could have meant you as the entire family. You. No, I mean, I mean you. <laughs> Man, cold-blooded to your brother. All it's right. Great. He's done worse things. Yeah, but you just let all of America, all of Condom know how you feel about your brother. It's not a united front. America doesn't a watch a YouTube video. The feds are, like, making sure that you're, like, not doing anything bad. Like, terrorist counter. Drugs is a uh, drugs is a secret word. No. Michael. No. I love you. What's up? But you gotta always show. You can't show. Uh, you know, it's like in The Godfather when. Uh, you haven't watched The Godfather. You won't let us. All right. Well, someday when you're allowed to watch The Godfather. Today. No, you're not ready yet. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> that movie. Then is... stop bringing stuff up about it. Well, if we're not to, ready I yet. To, I'm teaching you lesson by lesson. Little you. by little, we'll get there. Uh, would you like pause the movie every time you sneak? Or like, oh, I should teach my children. I should. That's why I haven't even started the movie. Because that's where we're at. Because our at life the, is the movie. We're, we're at the credits of the movie, and I'm still like, wow, man. You know, the lessons that the Godfather will teach my children. The credits? Oh, yeah. The beginning. Just the music itself. The passion of life that comes from that song. Give me the, a summary. What's it about? Story. We still have to watch The Usual Suspects. Yeah, yeah, let's get a good one too. Oh, uh, um, what's the story of the Godfather? The Godfather. Mom, the Michael, turn down your radio. Alright, you ready? Oh, Alright. The Godfather. It's a beautiful story. Huh. Bellissima. About, a, about an Italian, a Sicilian family in America, right? The, the father, Marlon Brando, one of the finest. Amazing. Um, is the dawn? He's it's 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 the morning of his daughter's wedding, and on on the day of his, of his daughter's wedding, a Sicilian can uh, turn down no favors ass, and so it opens up with this guy, and he's, he's speaking Italian, so it's on subtitles, and he's saying, "The dawn, I need your help. I need you." you are my friend, you are my, you know, I am, 
you're my godfather to my child. I, I, I need you know. And the Don's like, uh, you don't come to me. You go to your your cops. You go to your politicians. You go to any tell. You know. He just puts him in his place. But now, you know, when you need my help, now you come to me. You know. And he's like, well, He's like, oh, Godfather. Oh, mom, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> And it's just like Marlon Brando just lays it out that you know that this is not a man to be trifled with. Like this dude is amazing. All right. So fast forward, it's a little bit later on, and uh, there's this guy, and he wants to bring drugs. He wants uh, the mob to start helping the mafia to help sell drugs, and they're like, you know, we don't do this. This is for, you know, we, we, they do prostitution and they do um, gambling. Like he feels those are honest and and <laughs> but but and, and prostitution, but drugs are no good, you know. And so the what the, the oldest son Santino starts to say something, and he looks at him, and the Don says, "You'll have to excuse, you know, my children speak when they shouldn't," and you know apologize to him and says, you know, thank you, Mr. Salazzo, but, you know, I, I don't think we can do business, but if you, you know, need something in the future, let me know. So then, um, <clears throat> what? Just making sure it's a point. Oh, it's still on. Yeah. Um, so the, um, after Salazzo leaves, the Don slaps Santino and says, you never go against the family. And, and that's what I'm saying, that for the full teamwork, you can't ever let anybody know outside the family no matter how much you guys get mad at each other and what you got going on, you can never let anything else come in between you. Uh, that's a lesson. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? So, well, this is life. And this is why the Godfather is so important, because the Godfather explains everything. Okay, so I knew it was about the mafia. Yeah, yeah so they're not, this is back when the mafia was... Cool. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they were doing bad things, but they weren't like bad. Al Capone. Man, yeah, this is after Al Capone. This is uh, 40s, 50s ish. You know, and then you had all three movies. What do you got? I think you had four movies, three movies. Anyway, after the second movie, uh, it's no good. You, you only watch it because it's like Star Wars. You need the, the conclusion. You need to figure out what happened. But one and two, amazing. Uh, two of the greatest movies ever made. What else is the greatest movie ever made that we haven't watched? The Usual Suspects, but we went over that. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of them. Oh, you know it's a really good movie? I Am Sam. With, uh, uh Sean Penn. Anything with Sean Penn, you're, you're almost guaranteed to have a pretty good movie. I am Sam. Yeah. Doctor Seuss. No, no, no. It's about a. Sam, I am. No, no, wait. It's about a mentally slow guy, like really mentally slow guy, who's raising his daughter, and she's actually smarter than him. And uh, Dakota Fanning's in it, and uh, he fights for. That's funny that that comes up because that soundtrack is all Beatles tunes. <laughs> but. Um, all done by the like Jack Johnson does a cover, and um, and Bailey, your sister and I used to love. There was a song called Two of, Two of Us," and her and I would drive from everywhere and listen to that soundtrack. And her and I would sing Two of Us" because it was always Two of Us" as we were driving everywhere. Yeah. Did you stop the song? Yeah, I saw the soundtrack. It's a good, good soundtrack. Find it and play. Yeah, I'll play it for you. All right, what other, uh, what about books? Books that you won't let me read. Not let you Gates read. of Fire. You're not ready for Gates of Fire. See? Not ready for anything. You're almost, uh, dude, I gave you the education of Little Fruit Tree. 14. That's, that's where you're at, dude. You gotta start and then build. All right, here's the things about books. You can give me a book, but don't. You're pointing at my book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dudes. <laughs> like, hey, why is he looking? <laughs> okay. You can give me a book and I'll read it. Don't tell me to read it, because then I won't want to read it, because I'm reading it for fun. 
No, because I'm forced to. I don't know. I'm not force you. I, I said, know. here, read but, this book. No, that's not a that, force. That's, that's like, not what it is. Here, read if a so, book. If someone tells me to read a book. Okay, like, don't read the book. Yeah, I don't read the book. Then don't read the Oh, and then you don't read the book when they say don't read the book. I'll probably read the book. So don't read the book. So how long does it have to sit in your room before you'll read? No, until <laughs> until I feel like reading the book. Until like the the forceness of you has gone away. So you'll never read a book. My bloodlust for you to read a book. I do read books. What do you read? Books. Tell me the last book you read. Exactly, you're a big liar. No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm reading Purple Heart. That's how, the weirdest book. And how long have you had it? Like maybe a couple of days. A week? I got it Friday. You got it Friday, and how much have you read? Probably like on almost ending. Almost ending, what's that, how many pages? It's a 50 page book? That's not a book, that's a short story. No, it's not a 50 page book. You said how many pages? How many pages are is left? Book total. How many pages is the book total? I don't know. Total? I didn't look. I haven't finished the book. That's how why far? I don't know. Let me that's know where your fingers know. are. Let me know where your fingers are on how thick the book is. It looks like that thick. And where are you? Like, over here. Dude, that's like page 20. At the end, genius. No. You freaking stupid. No, I don't think. Uh, you know, when we get home, we're going to check this out and I will let you know because I, I don't think he's telling the truth I read books pop up books don't count <laughs> I can't read those Blue. they poke me in the eye when you read them you get so excited you can really put your face in and you get popped well you're farsighted I'm farsighted which means you're, you can't see and you're ugly because you are <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I love you. I'm hey, beautiful. so let's uh, let's Mike, Michael tell me about your birthday with the Ataris. That was fun. What happened? We listened to music. Where did we go? What did we do? Oh we went to the Corova. The Corova. We uh drank water. Why are you doing it all on me? We drank water, alright. Yeah. What kind <laughs> of water? Drink, Corova I drink, water. Uh, I drink uh uh, no one wants to know about your water, Michael. It's a joke. Okay, so it was fun. We were getting, we we're a little tired though. We, we did, but we had comfortable seats on the yeah, couch. Yeah, yeah. That's part of the reason. Well, I got the middle, and it was like on my back. That's why I was leaning on you or him. So you guys both fell asleep at a punk concert. I think that says a lot. I can sleep. That were heavy sleepers. No, the in the music. It relaxes. It relaxes you. And that couch. I was pretty comfortable myself. I was. I thought about taking. But I thought about taking the couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we had a good time. How, how did we feel when they played our song? Oh, uh, we felt energetic. I felt awake. Awoken. How, how was Boys of Summer live? Was it as good oh, as we always good. thought it, it would be? Good. It was pretty good. It's it just, good. you could barely hear the lyrics. Yeah. You know, they had the, the sound guy. I wanted to go complain to him and be like, dude, because he had the vocals down all night. Really? Yeah, every band had bad vocals and heavy on the music. So, eh, next time we'll say something. We knew all the lyrics, though. That's yeah, true. Alright, so we had a good time? Yeah. Alright, so, anything we want to say happy Thanksgiving to? Happy Thanksgiving. To all the PJs and codes. Yeah, and in-betweens. In-betweens? <laughs> I don't even want to know what those are. Well, no, in-betweens are regular people. Oh. Cones are, you know, lower than people. And then PJs <laughs> are above people. Ta-da. How's that for a analogy? But but not in an elitist way, just in a kind of funny PJ way. Remind me next time I'll tell you some jokes. There's all kinds of good PJ jokes out there. So have a good one, little cones. Train hard and... Uh, don't quit. Don't quit. And you can have an extra slice of pie tomorrow. Yeah. Because the abyss said so. Hoo-yah. Hoo-yah.